Hey everyone, and welcome back to Aviation and Nautical Masters. I'm thrilled to have you here with me today because we're diving deep into the fascinating world of ship repairs. Have you ever wondered what happens when a giant billion dollar ship rolls into a dry dock? Well, today, we're going to take a close look at the crazy process that goes into repairing these colossal vessels in massive shipyards. Imagine a large ship that feels like a floating city, towering over you as it approaches the dock. These ships are not just amazing feats of engineering, they are essential to global trade, transporting everything from oil to cars to the latest tech gadgets. So, strap in because we're about to embark on a journey that takes us through every stage of ship repair. And trust me, it will be quite the ride. A billion dollar ship arrives at the shipyard and as it pulls into the dock, you can't help but be in awe of its sheer size. It's massive. Once the ship is securely moored, the real action begins. The shipyard staff swings into gear, preparing for the vessel's arrival. This is no small feat. They have to ensure everything is just right. The lines are correctly tied, the fenders are in place to protect the hull, and the dry dock gates are ready to be closed. Once all that's set, the gates are sealed, and water is drained from the dock, revealing the ship's massive hull. It's quite a sight to see. Now that the ship is in dry dock, it's exposed to the world, and that's when the real work starts. Workers swarm around the vessel like ants around a mound, preparing for what's next. The first thing they do is a thorough inspection. They check the hull for any signs of damage, corrosion, or wear and tear that might have developed during its time at sea. So, the ship's in the dry dock, and now it's time for the initial inspection, where the real detective work begins. Engineers and technicians don their safety gear and carefully examine every inch of the ship. They climb scaffolding and use ladders to get up close to the hull, looking for anything that might be amiss. An ultrasonic thickness gauge is one of the key tools they use during this inspection. It doesn't sound straightforward, but it measures the thickness of the metal in the hull. This helps them identify any weak spots that may need repairs. It's a critical part of the process because a minor issue can become a big problem if left unchecked. Imagine the atmosphere. There's a buzz of energy as these skilled professionals work together, each contributing their unique expertise. Some are marine engineers focusing on the ship structure, while others are electrical engineers inspecting wiring and systems. It's truly a team effort, and the level of collaboration is impressive. Once the initial inspection is completed, the team gathers to discuss their findings. This is where the magic happens. They create a detailed repair plan that outlines exactly what needs to be fixed and how long it will take. They work together to prioritize the repairs based on urgency and safety. What's fascinating is how they break down the work into manageable tasks. For instance, if the hull needs significant repair that could involve removing old paint, patching holes, and applying a new protective coating. The planning session is where different departments, from engineers to safety officers, come together to ensure that all aspects of the repairs are covered. It's like piecing together a puzzle, where everyone's input is valuable. While the ship is in the dry dock, routine maintenance occurs. This isn't just about fixing the problems. It's also about keeping everything in tip-top shape. Workers inspect the propellers, rudders, and other critical components that play a vital role in the ship's operation. Imagine a team of technicians using massive cranes to lift and remove the propeller for careful inspection. It's a delicate operation that requires precision. They'll check for any signs of damage, corrosion, or wear, ensuring everything functions properly. Maintenance crews also focus on the ballast tanks and fuel tanks. Keeping these systems clean and functional is essential, as they affect the ship's stability and performance. It's fascinating to see how each part of the ship is interconnected and how keeping everything in good condition is crucial for safe sailing. 
Let's get into the nitty gritty of structural repairs, where the real work begins. This is where you start to feel the excitement in the air. The team gears up and is ready to tackle the repairs needed on the hull. They bring out welding equipment, cutting tools, and other machinery to fix structural components. Picture it, sparks flying, the sound of grinding metal echoing in the dry dock, and the aroma of fresh paint lingering in the air. Skilled welders meticulously work on the hull, ensuring every weld is secure and meets safety standards. It's a combination of art and science, as they need to make sure that the repairs are functional and visually seamless. At the same time, other crew members focus on refurbishing the ship's machinery. They might disassemble pumps, check engine parts, or repair electrical systems. It's an intricate dance, with various teams working harmoniously to ensure everything is completed efficiently. When a ship enters dry dock, one of the first and most crucial steps is cleaning the hull. Over time, the hull accumulates marine growth, algae, marine growth, algae, barnacles, and rust, which affect the ship's performance and fuel efficiency. Step one in this process is to remove these unwanted materials by using high-pressure fresh water. High-powered hoses spray water at extreme pressure across the hull's surface, blasting away layers of dirt, corrosion, and marine life that have attached themselves during the ship's time at sea. This method, known as hydroblasting, helps strip the hull back to its bare metal, preparing it for further inspection. Once the water cleaning is complete, the next part of the blasting operation may involve abrasive blasting like sandblasting. This targets any deeper corrosion, ensuring that the hull is perfectly clean and ready for the next steps, repairs, repainting, or anti-fouling coating. This cleaning process is essential for the ship's longevity and ensures that it runs as efficiently as possible once back at sea. Once the repairs are done, the next step is painting and coating the ship. You might think this is just for looks, but it's vital for protecting the hull against rust and corrosion. Workers use specialized paint design to withstand harsh marine environments, and this is where the ship truly begins to shine. Watching them spray the hull with high-pressure paint guns is incredible. One moment, the ship might look like a patchwork quilt of repairs and metal. The next, it's transformed into a gleaming, colorful vessel that looks brand new. It's almost like watching a masterpiece being created. And here's a fun fact. The paint used on these ships is often eco-friendly, becoming increasingly important today. As they work, you can see how proud the crew is of their craftsmanship, knowing their efforts will help protect the ship for years. After all the repairs and painting are complete, the ship undergoes a series of final inspections. This is the moment of truth. The team checks everything from the electrical systems to safety equipment to ensure the vessel is seaworthy. During these inspections, they conduct sea trials to test the ship's performance. This involves running the boat through various maneuvers to see how it handles and performs under different conditions. It's an exciting moment, as it's the first time the ship has been in the water after all the repairs. As the crew watches the ship navigate through the water, there's a palpable sense of anticipation. Will everything run smoothly? Did the repairs hold up? It's like the ship's first date back in the sea. Everyone is holding their breath, waiting for the outcome. Once all the inspections are completed and everything passes, it's time for the grand moment, the ship's departure from the dry dock. Water is pumped back into the dock and the gates are opened. As the ship is floated back into the water, 
It's a triumphant moment for the entire team. The ship glides away from the dock, ready for its next adventure. The workers feel a real sense of accomplishment and pride, knowing they've played a crucial role in ensuring this billion-dollar vessel is safe and seaworthy. They gather to celebrate their hard work, sharing stories and laughter about the challenges they faced and the friendships they forged along the way. It's more than just a job for them. It's a passion and shows in everything they do. And there you have it. The incredible journey of repairing a billion-dollar ship in a massive shipyard. From its arrival at the dry dock to its triumphant return to the sea. It's a complex process that requires skill, teamwork, and dedication. Everyone involved plays a vital role. If you found this exploration into the world of ship repairs fascinating, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What part of the process surprised you the most? Did you learn something new about how these massive vessels are maintained? Don't forget to leave your comments below and let's chat. Also, subscribe to Aviation and Nautical Masters for more exciting content about the maritime world. There's so much more to explore, and I can't wait to take you on more adventures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.